I want us to pause for a moment today on this, the most special day of your life, to think about love and to think about it for a moment, both as something you can see and something you cannot see. Love that's visible and love that's invisible. about it for a moment there are plenty of things we can see in the world and love can enhance that that's a bit of what love is but there are also things about love that's hidden when each of us walked in today we saw the photo up on the table it's the photo of Ben and Ben was the one that brought you both together the one that introduced you the one that ought to be here today since he put you together back in 2011 Love is hidden sometimes, love is mysterious sometimes, because love can be seen and love can be hidden. Both are gifts of God, and both accompany you in your days ahead. And then, something else about love, the words of Thomas Kempis a few moments ago, that love is full of activity, and I quote, Love flies, runs, and leaps for joy. It is free and unrestrained. Love knows no limits. Love feels no burden, takes no account of toil, attempts things beyond its strength. Today, you're sharing a promise of love, a love that sometimes we can see and sometimes we cannot, a love that is in front of us and also hidden. Both are gifts of God, so enjoy those gifts in your life together and have a blast together. so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Are you excited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Sorry, I was late last night. <laughs> you look nice. You look great. Right? I know. It all came together <laughs> yeah. so well. <laughs> you look so good. What do you think? I love it. Yeah? Yeah, you look really great. <laughs> You're so pretty. <laughs> No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like surprisingly calm and like ready. How do you feel? A little bit anxious. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth, standing here with you feels like something I've always been meant to do. You're my best friend, my partner, and everything I do is better because I get to share it with you. You give me the confidence to change and be better, but also the assurance that it's okay to make mistakes and be myself. The love and joy you bring into my life stays with me and gets me through the days. I feel it in the mornings when I have to shake you to get you out of bed. I felt it in the coded letters you wrote and the pictures you drew me in class. I even felt it all the way from Namibia through the frozen Skype screens and the drop phone calls. As we jump into our new life together, I will work day and night to earn your love. I promise to encourage and support you, 
to share in your struggles and success because your struggles are our struggles and your success is our success. I promise to always treat you with respect and kindness because there is no one more deserving of them. And above all, I promise to put our marriage before all other things because marrying you is the greatest thing I could ever hope to do. the night we first met when you made me laugh all evening long. I knew you were boyfriend material on our first date when you took me on that rickety wooden roller coaster I had been dying to ride, even though, as I later learned, you were terrified for your life the entire time. I knew that I loved you one evening in San Diego, only a few months after we started dating, when I realized you were one of the most wonderful people I had ever met. But I don't think I've ever told you when I knew I wanted to marry you. I knew I wanted to marry you when I saw how open you are to others and how you can make anyone feel like a friend. I knew I wanted to marry you when I saw your sincere kindness, generosity, and caring to all the people in your life. I knew I wanted to marry you when you encouraged me to go to Namibia, insisting I pursue my dream, even though it meant spending a year apart. That kind of unconditional support is a rare gift. I knew I wanted to marry you when I realized that I am my best, fullest self when I am with you and that every day of my life is better because of you. Clearly, there was really no single moment when I knew I wanted to marry you. Instead, it was a collection of moments and experiences that showed me that you are the man of my dreams. You are my best friend, my companion, my confidant, and my heart, and that will never change. I love you. <laughs> Mike and Elizabeth, may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit sustain you and keep you in joy now and forever. Amen. I give you Elizabeth and Mike, husband and wife, you may kiss your bride.